When my son came out as a transgender, just like many other parents, um, we just didn't know what to do. Even though we loved our son unconditionally, it wasn't like, oh, okay, you know, he's, he's, trans, he's transgender and everything's fine and, you know, we're just gonna live and continue to live like, you know, like nothing happened. <laughs> oh God, no, no. When he came out to me, my immediate reaction was fear, lots and lots of fear. Uh, because I thought about the fact that my kid would now uh, would now be marginalized. How is my son going to be safe in this world? I know the world can be cruel with my my history as a Japanese American and how people that are different um, can really be a target. So there was just so many layers of things for me to be fearful of. I think in terms of Asian culture um, is the the emphasis on staying together at all costs. So that can be a good thing in terms of safety. However, the feeling of um, instinctive shame was very much present in my trying to figure out how, how the community would respond. Yeah, we had a lot of prayer meetings and one day uh, I think maybe it was about two months after Kai came out to us. Um, I told them, you know, we, there were the prayers of, you know, uh, that that he's broken, and you know, uh, and, and you know, despite him being broken, you know, we still love him. I find myself, you know, in in community settings where, where my sort of just casually mentioning that my child is queer and trans is like I've um, dropped a stone, or you know, I've like done something very inappropriate. I always had this um, sense that, that I wasn't doing everything that I could as a, as a good mother should be. I was carrying our whole lineage on my shoulders at that point. And so how was I going to bring honor to our family name? The sad part is I think my withdrawal and my shame, um, Aiden thought came from him. When I was a kid, um, and growing up, like even in really my teenage years, my mom and I got along really well. And when I came out and started my transition, we had this really big fight um, that like to me was really, uh, it, I think it was really scary because we had never fought like that. And I wasn't sure if this meant she, she wasn't actually gonna be supportive like she had originally said. I was ashamed of myself, and I think that is very true for many, uh, for many mothers. Yeah, I lost my community, I lost friends, and I was embarrassed, you know, because I thought it was like this horrible thing that happened. And it was a very lonely, isolating time for me that first year when I was processing this information. I think for my mom, because she knew a little bit earlier on that I was queer, that her journey was more around like breaking out of a sense of isolation where she, where she really didn't have anybody except for me to talk to about it. And so I felt that I had to carry a secret. And while I was worried and fe uh, fearful for him, I was worried and fearful for for myself, you know, what, what would I be, what should I do? Or how should I respond to support him? And um, that, that was not a good time. That's when actually I found P flag. I walked with um, a PIP flag in New York City. Um, there was loud Bollywood music playing. There were um, queer and trans people with all kinds of gender expression. So that sense of community, that sense of like feeling like, you know, coming home is, is such a huge factor in my own progress. API Rainbow Parent is, a, is the only place that I can just bring my whole self um, as who I am without fear of, of being um, blamed or shamed. Like the friends that I have now, amazing, incredible people. This was my second chance, second chance for, you know, the things that I couldn't do because I didn't know how. I used to cry a lot because of the pain. 
But you know, today I cry because our life and our family um, has so much joy and gratitude and connection. Your queer child is a gift. We uprooted ourselves, we came to another country, we built our lives. If you can do that, you can get used to who your child is. I believe that people can change their value system. And I think that's a part of the growth and journey that anyone, anyone can take on. And I think the most beautiful part of a journey is that you allow it to unfold in, in the way that's best for you and your family. You know, we were marching with another API group and we were like one of the last to march and it was hot and, you know, I was just really miserable. I said, you know what, I don't know if I can do this anymore. I'm, this is hot, you know, this was like unorganized and I don't want to be a part of it. This is going to be the last one. That's what I thought, right? So we're marching, you know, I have my, you know, I love my trans son sign and this one girl, this one girl was off to the side. She wasn't in a crowd. She wasn't with her friends or whatever. She was off to the side. And I looked at her and she looked at me. It was like everything disappeared. And she bowed. And I bowed to her. And I thought, okay, I'm gonna keep marching. <laughs> 